Good morning, FlossTube. It's Lynette here from Brisbane, Australia. And as seems to go, we start videoing and a neighbour starts making noise. So I apologise it's stopped at the minute, but I apologise for that. But I need to get this video done this morning because I have a big finish to show you. So let's start with that before I do anything else. This is my big finish, my first full heaven and earth, full coverage design finish. Here it is. This is Cruising the Information Highway, artwork by Randall Spangler and shouted by Heaven and Earth Designs. And this was one of the very first Heaven and Earth Design pieces I purchased before I had any idea what was actually involved and it was a paper chart and I had done um, a fair bit of the top row um, so probably going across from here uh, and down this way a bit I think is what I had done on the paper copy and then I bought mark up rxp and that just changed the whole thing it's just amazing how much that changes your way you stitch and it's just so much so much fun so i think i started this in 2010 for my son when he first got a job as an academic and i wanted to finish it for his 40th birthday which i didn't quite make but that was fine so i've actually dated it down the bottom here my tiny little signature I've actually dated it 23 because I want it to be remembered as his 40th birthday present. Um, so he's seen, seen it partially finished, but I haven't told him I finished it. And the reason I need to video this morning is because I am off to the framers. Um, and I will give it to him fully framed. So I'm not actually posting it anywhere at the moment either, just in case. Um, I know he's got an Instagram account, he doesn't really do much with it. Um, but anyway, just to be safe, I will post it in the groups and that. But I thought at least I'd get the video up. So that is my big finish. And I finished it on Thursday and hit the... And the funny thing was, back early in the week on the Monday, I just had a little bit at the bottom all the bit of a brown bookshelf to do and I'm checking the numbers and I mark up RXP you get a page finish number and um, so I was down here and the last page is really skinny so I was sort of working across both pages to get to a finish and I'm adding up what's left for this little bit and this bit and it's not adding up it still said I needed 2,000 and something stitches so then I got smart and I went back and I had to look at all the pages and worked out back on page two, there was a section that I had not marked up, obviously from when I converted it from a paper pattern, I'd just gone around the edge. So once I uh, fully marked up that page, everything fell into place. Um, so I just beavered away on that on uh, Valentine's Day, actually. I just sat and stitched. I did other things as well, but... It was a pretty heavy stitching day because I was determined to get it finished um, because I want to do other things and it just it I feel a bit bereft without it now as many of you will know who've done that sort of thing so that's my big finish so I'm not trying to be a bit more organized I have just added the notes to my last video a bit, a bit late and I have notes for this video that I can just cut and paste in once um, once we get it going so now I've got all that off my chest. It is today is Saturday, February the seventeenth here in Brisbane. It's um, about seven a.m. because I've got things to do today, um, and so I'm going to work, show you a few things I've been working on and what my plans are. And most of them are based around the magazine monthly challenge acrostic for February. So this is my. My friend, my lovely, oh, I've got something else, yeah. My lovely friend bought me a book of days this year. We've been working on it. So when I get a green, that means it's a finish. So that's my cruising finish. This could have a few more stickers. 
Um, and so each day I would write how many stitches I did on cruising and what percentage I was up to, which is very motivating. So that's that. Now the other thing I've kept for quite a while, and I probably might have shown this on my first video, I can't remember, is, this, is just a spiral bound notebook. And I've got two now. These have all my whips in them. And as I start a new whip, I add a new page. But the plan is that when I finish a whip, I cut the bottom corner off. And you might be able to see here, yes, I'm pretty sure I've done this before. You see how I've got pages cut off? Yep, the plan was that one day when all the whips in this book are finished, all the corners will be cut off. So right at the beginning, the very first one in here is actually Death by Costage. So this is going to be my next focus piece to finish. And I won't show you the whole piece today because I haven't worked on it this last few weeks. But this is, the green is roughly where I'm at. So I'm over halfway. But the second one in the book was cruising. So there's some various pictures of various states of cruising. And the big purple slash means it's done and the bottom corner is cut off. So I have about, what have I got here? I've got one, two, there's three, there's three pages in a row cut off there. And then I go to uh, another heaven and earth design. Um, so I'm sort of umming and ahhing, just flipping through here, yes. Then I might sort of start working my way through the book from the front to the back and we'll see. So Death by Crosstitch will be the next one. So just to show you, this, this was a uh, 12 Days of Christmas. That was a free one from um, Plum Street Samplers on their, their blog years ago. That was one of the first things I picked up when I found Floss Tube because a lot of people were doing that. So that one was finished. That was finished in 2019. And this big one I've shown on my Floss Tube, I think, was the, the Afghan. Um, it's, well, the picture's not great, but that's actually an Afghan and they're all houses. And that one I finished in 2021. And so then I've got, so, I know I've, I've sort of got off topic here, but anyway, this is um, Alice in a Dali Dream, um, which I purchased in 2018. So I probably started it about then. And then this one's a Bothy Threads one. I've got Alice in Wonderland one. That's about, um, about here on this one. Um, I haven't got any date on that one. Yep, and then I've got a chunk of finishes. So that's what I'm thinking of doing. Um, I've got an, I've talked about it before. I've got an Alice box because I have a thing about Alice in Wonderland patterns. And so I've got all my whips up there, except for those that are in my Alice box, and I tend to forget about them. So... The next two in here after Death by Crosstitch are Alice patterns, so we might have to get that out. But anyway, that's my plan to have all the pages chopped off. You can see I've got quite a few. If I ever did a whip parade, I'm sort of set up for it if I dragged everything else in order, but I have a lot of whips and I'm just not ready for that at the moment. Okay, so then what else have I been working on? So... This week in the magazine monthly challenge group, they have a, they had so speciality my so my speciality is that what it's called? I wrote it down somewhere. Um, anyway, it's to work on something special. It's either got specialty stitches or beads or something special. So I've had this one on the go for a while, um, and my friend Jenny bought this and kitted it up for me for my birthday a number of years ago. It'll be in my book with a date, but I haven't going to find it um, and I don't know why it's taking me so long to work on it because I got this out because I've worked on this as part of um, Bringo I think and you know look where I'm at I'm doing really well so really I've just got to finish this border this band and there's a little bit more border here and that's all the cross stitch done and then I just get the fun of adding the beads and a bit more backstitch. And I've got the beads here. So there's these really big ones that go in between the stitching up here. And they say to do a double cross for those. 
they're very chunky and then these little green ones they go around the top of the tree and then the gold ones they hang down in these bits here and then there's more of the big ones and that won't take that long because there's not really that many so I've actually reached over 500 stitches for so my speciality um, but I, I think I'll just finish this now that's my plan so I've got things to do this morning but I might come home this afternoon and at least I'll get the cross stitch finished this afternoon and we'll get the beading done at some point and that lives in a very appropriate Christmas bag I made. Let's see if I can get myself organised here. The beads out of the way. I ended up getting a tray for that project because I had um, a couple of the, the flosses were changed. Um, they were not present colours. Classic colour works in a bit of a muddle so I ended up rather than just dragging everything out of the bag you should have seen it was a good mess. So I've um, got it all on a little tray so I need to finish it right things other things I worked on now I got a bit confused with this I think I've worked on this since last video but I'm just doing them because these are on my no this is not on my acrostic no this is just here because I think I worked on it and I'm just trying to be complete so I'm working on this one I remember talking about getting the white a different white floss and I was working down to that but I haven't actually got to that yet so I just worked a bit more on the houses I have a feeling I showed this anyway just just for my getting myself organized um, that's that one and again with this one I don't think I've worked on any more of this either it's his eyes on the sparrow and I'm just up in this section and I've been watching a bit of floss tube lately while I was madly working on my cruising and oh, there's so many lovely things and I kept going oh someone's working on this oh I should get that one out oh, it's beautiful it's, so that's another one so all these I have all my notes this time so everything I talk about will be in the drop down box once I upload it which mightn't happen till this afternoon after I when I get home so then there was uh, Carolyn and uh, Carolyn Zook and Sarah, the stitching mummy, uh, started um, Jardin Privé, and it was Sampa. Oh, I think it translates to Sampa of Gardens. And I went to find it, and I found this one. And this is Sampa of Shut, 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 which is cat. Um, so I started that, and finished a pussycat and I'm really keen to get back to this it's such a simple stitch compared with some other things so I'm looking forward to getting back to that and I've got that in a this was a uh, tempting tangles mystery stitch along I did and I turned that into a project bag and there's no particular reason why this is in that it's just it needed a project bag I'm just throwing these all on the floor in a pile. Uh, right, so another new start was the um, Fox and Rabbit Mystery Stitch Along for the Year, which randomly I have in a pencil case I've got. <laughs> it's got a fox on it. Um, it's got a front pocket and a, and a like they were like $2.50 or something in our office works. And I thought, oh, that would be a great project bag. So I bought that one. Um, and I've actually moved across and this is January and I've moved across um, to start February and I thought well I'll get back to that too now I've finished cruising it's faith hope and love and that little bit of stitching is the beginning of the word faith so this this one is um, this is a 40 count Zweigart and the thread is a Silks for you. PR126. So. Uh, 
and I've got I rolled I actually rolled it into balls and then I've cut pieces off it. So several several methods of cost management going on there. So I'm really I'm looking forward to getting back to that and catching up with that and hopefully I can stay catched up. But I told myself this year I was only going to do a couple of stitch alongs and I've got three on the go, which is this is the next one. So this is the heaven and earth design mystery well it's not a mystery because you actually chose your picture um, but there were several you could choose from and so my plan is now this is my full coverage piece that I want to keep up with and I'm up here and I'm not sure whether I've even done any more since last time I showed you so this obviously is a 20 count gridded one I haven't used gridded fabric before I don't know I probably won't buy any more it doesn't do a lot for me and I think it depends on the method you you work with. I just tend to work from the top corner. A bit like Sarah, Stitching Mummy does the typewriter method. I sort of, that's sort of the way I work. I've always worked top to bottom, left to right. Um, because I like, I don't like coming up in the middle of stitches too much. So um, that's why I work that way. Um, but I'm looking forward to getting back to that one. And I've got that in a gnome project bag because you know it's all cute gnomes and mushrooms and things and this was oh, I can't remember now I got that pattern off Etsy um, I bought two um, yeah I made it for my husband for Valentine's Day last year and it never got finished it just sat um, under the TV draped over something unfinished so I decided I'd finish it off and I'm really happy with that so that will live in there so I haven't actually been telling you what I've been doing I've got confused now okay let's go back to the magazine monthly challenge now so the theme for February is in the meadow and Stitchy Princess posted this on in the, in the group I think and it's got hedgehogs and mushrooms and what's not to like. And I've got another one of hers and I haven't stitched them. So my plan was to stitch this whole thing in February for the theme. So we'll see how we go. I bet once I get going on it, I'll enjoy it. And I've got a bit of fabric here that <coughs> something else was on that I didn't finish. And I've tea dyed this. And I think this is an 18 count. And I was using this thing here was two over one, but I'm probably only do one over one because I like one over one. I like working with one thread. So that's that's the plan. So that's the theme. So then the, the acrostic was snowshoe. So the first one was S. So I used that for Randall Randall Spangler, and cruising is finished. N was for Nora Corbett which is my partridge in a pear tree. So I is for I still do, which is ink circles, which was my anniversary piece. Um, and I've got it on here twice. I've got it on for both the O of snow and the O of shoe because O is round and circles around. And I've got on here, each one is to do a motive. So I want to do two motives. So I'm not going to do those massive ones. I'm going to do two of the smaller ones. So I think the plan is to, I think the plan, I haven't really made a plan. I've just written down two motives. So it'll be to finish this one. And I don't know, I might do this one. I'm not even sure where they are. Over here somewhere. So I've finished that one I think yes yeah, so I think that, that motive will be finished and I'll either zip over here and do a small motive or go down and do a bigger motive I think I told you last time these are these ones are like 90 square this one's probably still about 40 square so they're much bigger than they than they look but yeah it was one motive for each of those so I'm, look, I'm looking forward to working back on that one again and I like it because it's monochromatic but it's it's different reds so there's a few of the reds down there in the corner if I can't find a red for another project this is one of the first places I go and see if there's one in there so that's that's the O's 
Um, now W was, there's a W in that, the cat sample I showed you because it's got an alphabet, so that was for that. H is for this one, Heaven and Earth Design, and I've got down there 2,000 stitches, which I would really like to get done before the end of Feb, because with this Heaven and Earth Design mystery, if you finish a page a quarter, you get all the charts that were offered at the beginning that you got to choose from. And I just think it'd be fun. I was actually thinking I might finish the whole thing, but maybe not. We'll just see how we go. But at least I'd least like to finish a page a quarter. And what did I miss? Oh, the other S for shoe is a cell, which will be the fox and rabbit one. So the, the video finished February. Um, I still do it. And then E is every stitch is green, which is death by cross stitch, and I want to finish the page I'm working on. So that takes me through the acrostic. Then I have a couple of other things that are flagged as focus pieces or pieces I'd like to finish. This freebie that's no longer available and um, Judy Mastrangelo doesn't seem to have any artwork on Heaven and Earth Designs either, but this one after is only 125 by 81. It's a really tiny Heaven and Earth design. And I'm about halfway, I think. So now I've got, mar and I've got it in markup. I'm really looking forward to getting back to this one. I'm just, just going for it. We will see how optimistic I am. And then what have I got in here? Oh yes, so in this bag, which was a Barbara Anna Christmas mystery knit along, knit along, stitch along a couple of years ago, I have got my Cottage Garden series, which was the, so I had three, three mysteries. I started off with two, two, sorry, two 2024 cells. The first one was this one that I'm going to show you, and the second one was um, the Heaven and Earth Design one. And then Fox and Rabbit came out, so now I've got three on the go. And I'm not keeping up with any of them, but anyway. So this is the first house. This is the house series. And I'm going to start each of these in the month and just have fun with them and then get back to them. Because you can see this one I haven't got that far with. Um, the white on this fabric I found a little bit hard. Um, once I've got going, it's okay. So it would be fun to at least get in and do the this attic sort of part of it. Um, but then we had a hiccup with our getting the threads um, to Australia. It took a while, so our number two came out much later than any of you in the next on the other side of the world. But number two is the castle, more white. But I've got these lovely threads that came with it. So this is the roof. So I'm going to start up here in the roof. Then I can add the white and then flatfish is the body of it. So a lot of it will be in these, which will be really fun. This one's got how many? Oh, it's got more threads than you think. Four, five, six, seven, eight. There's 13 colours. It'll be interesting to see where the other ones come out. It doesn't look like it, does it? Anyway, that'll be fun. Oh, I think the flat fish must be... Why do we sidetrack ourselves when we're talking? Oh, there's more colour changes than you think. So the flat fish is in this. this. This is darker. That's the flat fish. This is a DMC in behind you with some flat fish as well. And um, so the next one's obviously out, which is the garden house or something. Um, I haven't been invoiced for that yet. And I've just, I've, I've bought a whole lot of fabric and I've cut it up and it's, it mightn't look like it, but it is actually salvaged. I've, um, I've, um, Zigzag the edge. Anyway, so that's ready to go as well. 
So I didn't do I didn't do very well with organising my February across to incorporating all these other things in it, but that's okay. We'll just we'll just have fun for the rest of the month with that. Okay, so a couple of other things I've been doing. Um, you know I like to knit and crochet stuffed animals for I have no idea why, but I do. So here's my polar bear finish. It's got a little error here where I've caught the stitch and I'm trying to work out what to do to cover that up. I was hoping the pants would um, cover it, but they don't quite. Anyway, so here was fun to do. And here's from this book, which I bought from our local yarn shop. And these are so cool. I just love this snail. <clears throat> and um, I think I'm just going to work my way through this book just for the fun of it. It's a hobby, right? Hobbies are for fun. You don't have to have a purpose. That's my thinking. I'm just trying to find you the open spread. Somewhere here she has a... I can never find it. Hmm. Somewhere in the middle, there's a spread of all the animals in here. I don't know where it's gone. Oh, well, let's not worry about that for the moment. I'll find it. This, anyway, this is what I'm working on now. So for those of you who sew or knit, the book's actually written for 10-ply cotton. So this hippopotamus head is huge um, and I've done his bit of the body you can see there with the yellow and the white in it which is um, tapestry crochet which I haven't done before so that was interesting to learn and then I've gone back to the brown for his body and his legs so I'm getting there on that one. Um, yeah, so then when I discovered that this, this one's actually an eight ply so it's not as big and then I actually want to do one in four ply and see how it comes out the fingering way um, and the other one I'm supposed to be making is the dinosaur and she's got such cute names because the dinosaur actually has a home to go to it's my grand great nephew this is Eduardo meet Eduardo Cutosaurus that's what she's called him Cutosaurus so I'm doing that in eight ply as well so that's I'm having fun, that's just for fun, apart from the fact that my great nephew's getting one of them. And then the other thing is um, there's an Australian designer, crochet designer called Shelley Husband, and our yarn shop is doing a blanket, blanket along, 20, 24 year of the blanket, excuse me, excuse me. And each month, just for 10 months, it started in February, we're doing a different blanket. Um, I have loved blankets. Like I've done a lot of quilt making and I realised when I was a child, my mum used to get the big um, McCall's craft magazines and I used to sit on the floor and go through them and I always remember being attracted to the blankets, the big ones. And I only reflected on that recently when I decided to join the blanket club that this has been a lifelong obsession to make blankets which was fine when we lived down south but living in Brisbane you don't really need a lot of blankets but anyway this is also just for fun so here's some of the squares that we've been making um, and this book is called Flair and there's 50 squares I won't, I won't necessarily go through all of them but these ones look really lovely because I've blocked them and every square is different um, that one doesn't. Um, what else have we got? Just showing you the ones that will show up a bit more. This one's sort of got a flower thing on it. Um, every square is different, and then we can just we can make as many as we like. Um, and I think the original pattern is also in eight ply cotton. Um, but I had this. I bought this for another project last year and it's actually a 10 ply, I think you call it worsted weight up in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, and I had five balls of it. So 
I may get about 30 squares out of it, out of a ball, out of the, I've got five balls, so I may get 30. So I'm debating, we'll see. I might decide to change colour if I need to buy more and then, you know, do a checkerboard thing and alternate colours. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. But they're coming up really nicely, and now that um, cruising's out of the way, I'd like to get a few more of these done. They started with this one because they thought it might take a while, and we could not necessarily finish it in February. And then they alternate. So in March, the blanket along is a Stephen West knitted blanket, and it's the one that's got little, it's like a honeycomb kind of thing. So I've got the yarn for that because I bought that last year when they had a sale and I knew it was coming up. So those things, they're also sort of knit along, stitch along kind of monthly things. Um, so I'm just enjoying all that. So my, my the trick for me now is now I've had this big finish and I've been so focused on it, is not to get another one that I'm obsessed with for a little bit so I can just, you know, someone shows something on floss tube and I go, oh, I've got that, or I've got a pattern by that designer. Let's do a bit on that. That's the sort of the plan, but we'll see how we go because I'm a bit driven as well to get some things finished. Um, and at least this one will be, that'll definitely be a finish. That's not going to take that long. Um, so I need to, can't remember whether the So Speciality finishes on Saturday, which Today's Saturday here, but if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, it's actually tomorrow for us. So I always feel like we gain an extra day with these stitch longs because we started on the day it's posted our time, which is a day ahead, your time if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, so we sort of can gain an extra day. But anyway, it doesn't have to be finished by then, but I have met the requirements for that challenge, so which was five, five hours or 500 stitches. So Okay. Right, I need to get on with my day. I will have to do a couple of things here, hang my washing out, and then I will be heading to the framers to be there when they open this morning, which is very exciting. Um, so I'm, I'm sort of seeming to be on track to do video roughly every two weeks at the moment. Um, let's see how we go. So everyone, have a great rest of February, and happy stitching. Bye.